pleasant good morning welcome to transwest truck trailer rv today i'm a cowboy and uh if anybody out there who knows who i'm impersonating here at transwest here in frederick um there's a little price for you guys so today happy halloween to everybody and i got this really nice black truck spooky looking uh freightliner m2 106 summit hauler conversion this is a 2021 we're going to go over some of the features on here guys if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out contact me my number and email will be at the end of this video and again if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out it's getting a little foggy over here so we're going to talk about the front end of this unit one thing i want to mention here is that free piece uh free piece grill that we put on here with the summit hall summit hauler logo we do have that center piece and that bottom piece here Another cool thing about this unit is that that three-piece bumper, if in case you're in an accident, you could actually swap out whatever part that is damaged. Underneath is the same. Previous owner did add rock, slide, rock light throughout this unit. And as we go around, there's four up front on the wheel wells. And as we go around, it'll be all over. Fully tinted unit as well. Both, all, all five windows in the back. He did a few back, blackout spots on this and I'll point it out as we go around. But again, LED headlamps with those rock lights throughout. As I open up the hood here, I'm gonna point out one of the rock lights also. But underneath the hood, what you guys are looking at is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. And it is partner with the Allison 3200 TRV, six speed automatic transmission. This unit right now produces 360 horsepower and about 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. That version of the 21s were the latest versions when they started putting that 360 in those units. And of course, as you guys can see with that bed on here, uh, complements the new style of the Summit haulers when we first started off uh, doing that design. He also has a rock light underneath this grill here which I think at night is pretty awesome to see that glow. But again, we got strap downs on either side. We're looking at the rims and tires here. Um, he did upgrade the aluminum rims to the American Racing ATX series, 22.5 inch rims. And we still have those Michelin tires on here, 22, 255 80R22.5s. Again, with that being said, we still have those all about auto balances throughout all four corners of this unit. I have those lights on right now. So those marker lights here kind of show you what it's going to look like at night. Even though it's daytime, you can see, you can still see how bright it is. And we do have one, two, three, four, five, six rocks lights alongside the underneath the steps here. And in this storage compartment, we do have our 50 gallon tank and our six gallon def tank. On the opposite side, we do have an extra 50 gallon tank. So a total of hundred gallons on this unit. Engine block heater, trickle charger for your batteries. And as I open up that front door, you guys will see what the front looks like. We do have those Summit Hollow black leather seats. It is heated and with lumbar. Underneath that seat here, we do have our kill switch. Again, if you're not using the unit and you wanna shut off all power to the unit, you will turn that switch off. Once you turn it back on, remember to have the keys on hand because what will happen is the alarm will trigger and you will need to deactivate that. Key entry right underneath the steering wheel with the blue light. That's your switch for your rock lights. All the way in the back right there and of course check out the doors we do have our summit hauler logo door panels with our kenwood speakers i don't know in the, in the sun you could actually see the flakes on the paint so you do have those silver flakes to make it that black metallic really nice in the sun and of course, checking out the back seat, you do have that red bench that turns into a bed. A 
And for all those people that wonder if it's DOT certified, it is. It is DOT certified as a bed. As you guys can see, it goes all the way down. Underneath that back seat, as you can see right now, you can see a subwoofer. It does have an amplifier for all the, all the uh, speakers on board. So you can tune it as needed. There is a sub knob up front that I'll show you where to operate that. So if in case the bass is a little bit too loud, you could actually bring that down. In the center of the seats there, you will see charging ports. We got a couple USBs, 110 plugins and 12 volts. He did black out all the handles on the doors. So these are all blacked out color match. Again, storage boxes. You do have access to your fifth wheel hitch. Right now it has a gooseneck ball on here. So you have that gooseneck, uh, that fifth wheel attachment for there. All those storage boxes are lockable. Dual ties in the back with those upgraded rims. Smaller storage compartment in here. Same will be on the other side. Fully spray bed lined. And it also matches the, the tie down. He also blacked that one out as well. So we do have a little bit of a cracking on here, but we'll get that all taken care of. Again, LED headlamps around this unit. Bumper pull hitch with your seven pin hookup up here. You do have a backup camera up top. This one will give you a clean view of the back end of that unit. And of course, if you decide to add more cameras to this unit, you could add an additional three cameras to the Voyager system on here. And once you, once you send all the feed to that screen, everything will show up on that screen as well. So let's jump inside and kind of go over some of the interior features. Like I said, the interior is fully tinted, so you don't have to worry about the black on black. This unit has 18,000 miles on the dot. So 1,000, well, sorry, 18,000 miles. So as I start up this unit, I'm gonna show you guys some of the gauges on here, if we could get a clear view of that. So you got your oil gauge, water and transmission. You got your fuel gauge, your dev gauge, and your two air compressors primary and secondary. Like I said, 18,000 miles. Coming down here, you have your engine brake. Typically, on some of the newer ones, you'll see two switches for your engine brake. This one comes with one. As you see, the red light is on, so it's on high. Center is off, and down is low. So you have that red light turn on once you activate your engine brake. Your Allison six-speed automatic transmission. Let me brighten that light a little bit so you guys could see. And that's what that decrease and increase button on near your lights are for. So you could actually see the difference in the lighting on the stereo and on the dash. So I'm just gonna raise that, brighten that up. If you, if you press the plus and minus sign at the same time, you will see a few uh, options here that will show the on te all temp. Right now the vehicle is just I'm warming up so you won't see a uh, accurate temperature yet. Uh, oil life, we did do an oil change on this, so 95% of oil life. Filters are okay. Transmission is okay. And of course, there's no codes on this unit. Coming up here, you got your cruise control. This one is your cruise control switch on. You got your set and accelerate, cancel and turn off. Manual region button. You got your red differential lock. Heated mirrors, marker light. These four charging ports is only for charging your cell phone. And down here, you'll see a USB HDMI. Once you open that up, you will see your USB and HDMI input. With the USB, once you plug into your phone, you will have Apple and Android capability. I know there are new phones coming out with the USB-C plugin. There is an adapter with the USB you could actually purchase. You plug it into that. USB and it has that USB-C uh, 
input and you could plug in straight through there and have your iPhone 15 and all the newer phones um, hook up on here. You have your Red Arc trailer brake system. Over here is your sub hoof and knob. So you could actually increase the sub on through this uh, button right here. Over here is your cab AC and heat. This is your rear AC and heat. We actually just finished service this one up. Power windows, power locks, rear dumb switch. You got your marker light and then you have your cargo lamp in the back. So this truck is fully air brake. So you have your air brake supply here. And of course, if you do have a, a trailer with air brakes, you have a supply for that as well. Um, it is pre-plumbed. So all we have to do is mount those glide hands onto the truck if needed. And of course you have your Stinger stereo sound system. It does come with Apple and Android capability. It does have XM radio, AM and FM radio. You got the USB. If you want to plug in just like music on your USB, you could do that via this port right here if you don't want to use your phone. You could actually add cameras to this unit as well. If you do decide to do that, you have four inputs here. And of course your different settings. And of course it does have navigation so right now it's going to install and load as we continue doing that we have storage up top we got some cool lighting features up here we do have that infinity lighting you got your reading lights again the voyager camera up here so you can see everything that's happening in the back as we come down the navigation is already loaded up very easy to use and again as we go over delivery and stuff um, once you come in and purchase a unit from us we go over um, majority of the stuff on here most times people watch these videos and see they're good with what we present on those videos but again we still go over and go over some stuff with them in person to see the buttons on the video and to see it in person is a little bit different so kind of want to you know point that out that we will go over everything with you if you if you need uh, to go over it again cup holders throughout this unit here you do have a nice glove compartment in here or storage box got a few manuals in here <clears throat> all right so this unit is on the market as we speak so if you guys are interested feel free to check out the stock number we have listed on the video you could go on our transwest.com website. They should have a link taking you directly to this unit. Prices and all that is included. Um, if you have, um, if you want to get this unit shipped to you, we do the deliveries. We do offer financing, so we do have a few options for you guys as well. So feel free to reach out to me or my or Larry Vickers. We'll definitely help you guys out. Have a wonderful Halloween and a wonderful week. Stay safe, and as my boss said, get to work. Thank you very much.